Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Brian from Brian's Aquariums and today I'm going to show you how to culture phytoplankton. Alright, so in order to make your phytoplankton culture, you're going to need just a few things. And most of these items you can pretty much find around your house. First, you're going to need your light source. And you can find this at any hardware store. As long as you have a little squiggly light bulb with it, you're going to need a container to make your phytoplankton in with some freshly made salt water. You don't want to use tank water for this because you're going to be putting this back into your tank and you don't really want to start with nasty water. You want to start with clean, fresh salt water. You're going to need a phytoplankton culture. You're going to need the F2 media, which is the food for the phytoplankton. And by the way, if you want to get this phytoplankton, I make this in-house and I'll drop a link below. You're also going to need an air pump. You're also going to need a air, uh, air timer. You're going to need a uh, electrical wall timer. This one's a kind of a pretty expensive one. I think I pay like eight bucks for it, but they've got cheaper options out there. You'll need some rigid airline tubing. You're going to need some air hose here. You're not going to need much, just a little bit. And you're going to need an adjustable air valve. And last but not least, you're going to need an anti-siphon valve. Alright, so let's jump right in and make this culture. So, I personally use this culture container right here. Uh, it's like a two and a half gallon container off of Amazon. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw a link down in the description if you want to buy this as well. Um, but this thing is really nice and you can make two and a half gallons at a time instead of two liters. I'm going to set this to the side for right now because we're not going to use it. So let's go ahead and hook up our air pump here. I've already got my adjustable air valve pre-installed right here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Hook it up to your air pump. Oh, also, um, if you want to use a air stone, you can use that, but it's really not recommended because this will create micro bubbles in your culture and it'll effectively just skim your your phytoplankton so you really don't want to do that so I'm gonna set that to the side as well and that's why we have the rigid airline tubing and I'm just gonna hook this up to the air hose here drop this right in and then of course you would start you would plug this up and you would get this to start going to bubbling and you would just adjust your air valve here to the proper amount of bubbles and now it's time to add our phytoplankton to our culture so let's take this funnel here and for a two liter bottle all you really need is a 16 ounce bottle of phytoplankton for a two and a half gallon or smaller container you're going to go ahead and need to do two 16 ounce uh, phytoplankton bottles. Let's go ahead and add this to our culture here. Okay. Put this to the side. Now we're going to need to take our F2, the phyto food, and shake it up. And for two liters, I like to use five milliliters. So this is three, and there's two. Okay, let's go ahead and put this to the side. So, we've got everything pretty much hooked up. Now, what we have to do is we have to take our light and we have to plug it up to our wall timer. I'm gonna go ahead and set this wall timer to 10 hours. Okay, I'm going to plug this in real quick. And I'm going to plug the light up to the wall timer. There we go. And so, you would basically clamp this uh, anywhere where it would hold on. And you want to put it about a foot away from your culture container. And then you want to leave this on for 10 hours a day. Or 12 hours at the most. 
So since I don't have nothing to clamp this on, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and set it down for now. I'll go ahead and set this to the side here as well. Alrighty, last but not least, I went ahead and added my check valve, my anti-siphon valve to the air pump because my air pump is actually below my culture. So what that means is if it's not plugged in, if the power goes out, this could actually siphon all the way down to my air pump which we all know electricity and liquid is not good and then once this actually turns back on it could electrocute it start a fire who knows what else can happen so make sure to invest in a little anti-siphon valve but if your air pump is above your culture you're not going to need to worry about the anti-siphon valve and you're not going to need to worry about stuff siphoning back into there because it's just not going to happen it's not going to siphon upwards all right so let's go ahead and plug this in here There we go. Got the air pump plugged in. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the bubbles to where I like them. So you don't want the bubbles to be super aggressive, but you don't want them to be very minimal to where it doesn't stir up the whole container. The basically, all you really wanna do is make sure that these bubbles is stirring up the whole entire container. And that way your phytoplankton is just get it all mixed up and everything will be all good. So that's pretty much it. If you found value in this video or if you learned something today, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. And when the little notification bell pops up, press all so you'll be notified anytime I make a future video. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much.